Hi Sarah, it's Miss Nikki Ann. I just made like 50 million comments, written comments on your page. I'm like, mm. and I'm not feeling well, so I didn't want to make a video because the talking is bothering me, draining me. But after I typed all of that, I was like, the video would have been quicker. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because there's so much to be said on the IV fluid thing. I mean, it's just so much. And so um, basically, I agree with Millie. I agree with um, um, Dr. M. And I agree with you on the way you're doing it. I think just like uh, dysautonomia, when they treat it, there's no one way to treat it. Each patient's symptoms are different. And so, of course, the IV fluids treatment would be different for each patient. When mine is run really fast, I pee it right out. So I can't run it real fast and get the benefits. So I'm there from 7 a.m. or 6.45 even sometimes until 4 so that I can get the maximum um, benefits from it. But if it could be run faster, I'd be like, run it. <laughs> That's a long time. Get out. Get out. But I do it for that little guy who I just told to get out. Because I know when it comes to the quality of life, I feel much better and able to go. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny. I'm not even laughing because I'm not in the mood. I don't feel well. Okay. Um, I just am able to go a little bit further and do more for him um, when I've had it. And I can get out the bed. There, you know, so being able to get out of the bed is important. I need to be able to get out of the bed to, um, or even sit upright like I'm sitting right now. It doesn't feel good, but I'm upright. And for you, like I could probably use it um, uh, once a week to once every two weeks. Right now, I'm doing like I'm averaging once every three weeks because um, my rheumatologist is prescribing it um, because I'm leaving my old dysautonomia doctor who's also for it but she's not for overuse of it so um, I'm looking for a doctor who will be more like my rheumatologist and um, will um, not be worried about the overuse even her saying that I'm like but I'm out of the bed and I do understand all the I'm out of the bed Okay, and um, but she was definitely for any time my rheumatologist would call and be like, Oh, Nikki's calling for food. She'd be like, Yeah, of course. So, and that was still on average of every three weeks. <laughs> so, even her line of not overusing it, she's still willing to give it every three weeks without even that and I. But um, during the summer, I'm hoping I could do um, every two weeks. Um, and so, I see the new guy in a couple of weeks. And if he's not for them, then I'm, I won't be, this is a consultation for an hour, then I won't stay with him. Because I do believe they're an integral part, even my rheumatologist and the nurses at the infusion center and everyone can see that it makes a difference. And that for me, running them fast doesn't work. I mean, it's taken over a year. I've been getting it for over a year. To And thanks to Dr. Margaret's solution, oh my gosh, it's worked the best. It, not, nothing for this past year has worked away this um, D5 normal saline um, two liters worth run really slow um, at is it 250 milliliters per I'm trying to remember all this technical stuff Millie's good at this not technical talk <laughs> but um, so it took a while to even get to like where we're at so um, but for you if you're in a hot state you probably could benefit once a week you may need it twice a week because you're you're more um, mobile than I am. You get around a lot. You've got two girls. So you're using that stuff up. And whatever else goes hand in hand with the technical part of POTS and why we need it and the thickness of the blood and all these different things, you probably could use it twice a week. And then in time, you can tell when those seasons change. Like in the winter, I was different. I didn't, wouldn't have needed it. The winter was totally different. You know, and this is Connecticut, so winters are negative zeros, you know. So, um, and who knows if we'll need it forever. I d doubt that we will. If we do, is it so bad? Is there something worse? You know, and then the effects of what it does to the veins. And then, of course, you go into a port. Then you take breaks. Like, I'm on, um, my GI has me something on my colon, but he's like, um, he gives my body a break. I'm on it, then I'm off of it for a while. It's for, um... Since my colon doesn't function on its own, um, it's to kill the bacteria that may grow from it not moving. But he doesn't keep me on it year-round, you know. So it could be the same with IV fluids or 
we don't know yet there's not enough um, feedback from the research yet to show but so far what we do know is research is showing that it's working for us that's the one thing it's working and the long-term issues with it we don't know because we're really the first generation of these IV fluids people so we are the lab rats somebody has to be and we are and I know as a mom I'm thankful to be one of those rats <laughs> because it's gotten out of the bed or some days just sitting upright like I am now so we'll see everything takes time you know the study of cancer every illness takes time to fully understand and all the different techniques and treatments change over time so um, I think this is a uh, uh, not very invasive as far as I'm concerned if you don't have a port especially you know you're just going into the infusion center and um, uh, something like taking a Floronaf is more major than going in for IV fluids unless you literally are there every day with them poking your veins and um, I have pretty good veins too so who am I to say you know, yours once a week is doing something to your, your body, so you may need to look into something else. See, for me, my great veins, they can poke those things. So my, you know, experience with that side of the vein thing is different than yours because I don't have an issue. I have, you know, very supple and willing veins, funny enough, despite pots and everything else. Oh, no. That's it. But go with your gut. You know, and what God puts on your heart for you to do about your pots. Because we're all different pots. And same family, but not the same person. Same family, not the same person. All right. Be well. <laughs> I don't still go. And who is that? Val keeps asking how everyone got their um, IV fluids. Um, okayed and everything. I, n I never had a problem. I don't even remember Val, Pot's info. She keeps asking because she's Val's in Australia, right? I wonder what's different there and why she can't. I wonder if she's, I've got to leave her video and see if she's even asked for them or why she can't get them. I mean, it's it's IV fluid. It's like a dime of the, it's the cheapest thing in healthcare. <laughs> but I'll go to her page and do that. I don't know why I'm asking you. You're not Val.